Hi, my name is Delaney West, and I have the honor of speaking about my first grade teacher, Miss uh, Lisa O'Quinn. Um, I don't say this lightly when I say it, but she very much so mentally and emotionally saved my life. Um, during the time that I was in first grade, my family went through a really, really tough transition. My dad was battling addiction, and my mom had to make up for that uh, financial insecurity because he was unable to hold a job at that time. And so it required that I be placed in after school care, which was like a small YMCA affiliate that was on our campus. Um, I had a really tough time transitioning into that program. I was the only first grader enrolled. Um, it was for the older kids mostly, fourth, fifth, and so I felt really alone and abandoned there. None of my peers were there, and I began to associate having to go to school with having to go then to after school care. And so the excited, passionate, curious, happy six-year-old girl that loved going to school um, really started to decline. I was so sad, I was completely heartbroken, I became really quiet, um, I didn't engage much, I became a total shell of a person. And Miss O'Quinn um, recognized that. She recognized that I had completely changed. She recognized my sadness and my loss of happiness, the loss of light that I had within myself at one point. I was only six years old at that time, and she saw it, and she um, took it upon herself to reach out to my parents and reach out to my mom and tell her that I was no longer thriving, and everything that I once was, I was not anymore, and she felt so empathetic towards my situation that she told my mom that she would love to help care for me after school. And so what that looked like was that instead of going to after school care, she would stay in her classroom and do her duties for the next day or anything that she had to catch up on. And she would allow me to stay in her classroom with her. And then when she would finish doing her after school activities, she would then take me home um, and she would take me for a snack on the way. And I just remember feeling so cared for at a time when I felt like everyone had abandoned me. There was no one to look to for help. I was only six years old and I just felt so looked after because she stepped up and became a surrogate parent to me. And I then reopened up. I blossomed. I flourished in first grade and then onwards. My entire life I've been able to be really successful in a lot of different ways. Um, because she caught me when I was completely falling. And it's her that I have to thank for all of my successes because in that moment at six years old, I could have completely fallen off the tracks. I could have completely derailed and she didn't allow that. She swept me up, she put me under her wing and she cared for me like a parent would for the duration of first grade. And from that moment on, I was able to stand on my two feet. I was able to trust other people. I was able to learn to rely on others in a healthy way that I didn't have to bear everything by myself. And that paid off in massive ways as an adult because in my adult life, I had to face a lot of adversity with my family, with my personal issues. And I always think back to how I could remain strong because someone taught me how to do so. And that really transferred over to me as an adult. I became a basketball coach and I've been a basketball coach for girls for the last 10 years. And I know that the way that I am with my players is because of how Miss O'Quinn was with me. I'm empathetic, I'm caring, I'm looking out for their feelings, their energies. I'm looking out for discrepancies in how they are. And I'm constantly focusing on providing them with love and compassion and understanding and a place where they can really rest their weary minds at any time. And that's exactly what she provided me. So as I enter into my, my teaching career, I am so excited to provide that same person that Miss O'Quinn provided to me because I don't think there's anything like it. She was the most outstanding human being I'll ever know. She absolutely changed my life. She, she helped me flourish. And 
if I can do that for my students as a teacher, I. I know I'm going to be a great teacher then. If I can become the Miss O'Quinn that she was to me, to my students, I know those students will flourish and feel cared about and accomplish whatever they set their minds to because all that six-year-old needed back in first grade was someone to say, I see you and I'm here for you and you're going to be okay. And I can't wait to do that for my future students. So... Miss Lisa O'Quinn was one, if not the most important person in my young life and continues to influence everything I do to this day. Thank you.